presentation that I'm very happy to be here in Asia. It's my very first time. Uh, I feel at home. You guys are awesome. The crew, a lot of things that I can pronounce, but it's okay. Let's talk. So my presentation basically is about uh, how we subutilize our cell phones, how we underestimate its power. Like, we know that everything that we touch now are becoming little computers, you know? You have microwaves, freezers, everything are becoming little computers. Yet I think that, hap that happened uh, a few times ago with cell phones. Cell phones, I think, when we started running Java, uh, a lot of people pay, become to pay more attention in, in cell phones. Like, uh, start uh, installing application, and, uh, and this comes another thing, that if you have good, good application, good stuff in your cell phone, people want to hack them. Because you have good, interesting uh, documents there. If you want to hack them, why not hack from them? Uh, I think we have a, a few introductions. I think that this idea came to my mind when I watched uh, some presentation in Brazil that talked about pen testers pay too much attention to technical and sometimes forgot the tactical. If you, if you see now that a lot of trainings about exploitation, it's a tactical exploitation. Because if you, if you just uh, follow a line like uh, using a framework, using tools, just you don't, you, we won't get a, a good result. That's what I'm going to talk about. That we have to be more creative. We have to be more smarter. We have to be, we have to not just work in a line, you know? We have to walk around it. So I think a little bit about me. I work as intrusion analyst at iBliss. No, I don't work for the devil. They, he does some things to me, you know? So I'm a computer engineer, I hold some certs, I have, I, I studied security over 10 years, I spoke at Turcon, HAC, and shot the sheriff. Here we have our agenda, it's our motivations, our goal, uh, why cell phones, how, how, the most important how, some demos for sure, some missions and concerns, the, at the end, the conclusions. So I think that the first motivation is that become, that's because pay test is not like years ago, you know? We, we don't have, we, the people got smarter and the, the vendors as well. We don't have any more free bugs. We, yeah, we have, we have exceptions. That's because we don't have full disclosure anymore. People has uh, patch management installed. We have some kernels. Some, uh, I think the all kernels has a little bit, uh, a little, a little bit of, of security, like uh, uh, canary trap of Windows. We have some protection in kernel of Linux as well. So, if the, if we don't have a lot of stuffs. We don't have the security grow it. So if security grow it, we have to think different. We have to think smarter. So with cell phones growing up and uh, a lot of applications done, done we, we can do it. Sorry, I, I'm a fucking nervous. So I'm, I'm a, OK. Mixing that with the opportunity to do different things, I think that we can use a cell phone for hacking. It's, a, it's great, man. You have uh, a lot of softwares and uh, stores for that, you know. We can see that iTunes sold uh, like one billion application uh, a few time ago. We have the new off stores of Nokia. Blackberry has stores. We saw the last release from Microsoft. Zuni AD that we're also gonna have a start. I don't know if already has. And the thing is, 
let's utilize uh, let's use our cell phones we have a lot of cell phones everybody has cell phones like with bluetooth with java it's not a smartphone else until end user cell phones has company it's able to do the service i have a video here it's it's from discovery channel it's about it's about cell phones right we can do many things with cell phones but there are many that we can't do that's a, like a, a rumor that uh, was in the internet in the youtube so i think i can't play ah <laughs> sorry Okay, I'll call you back later. Okay, bye. Well, the fans have another keyless entry myth, and this one has a cell phone twist. We already busted tennis ball opening up a car door. What do you got now? Okay, imagine you've locked your keys in the car with the remote that opens the car, but you have another one at home. So you call home on your cell phone, and whoever's there can hold up the remote to the phone, you hold your phone up to the car, and when they press the button, it unlocks the car. So the remote signal travels over the cell phone and unlocks the car. Exactly. Well, sounds... Do you really believe in that? It's easy enough to test. All we need is a pair of cell phones, a car remote, and a locked car. All right, cell phones. No long distance. Okay, I'm just gonna call Grant's mom and see if I can get invited to dinner. Hi. Yes, it's your favorite. On this webisode of Mythbusters, it's car remote capers. All right, what are we doing? This might be the quickest myth we've ever done. Got the keys to this production vehicle right here. I'm gonna have you walk to the other end of the car park until you're out of range. Then um, call me up, <laughs> click the keys into the phone so that the remote unlocks the door. The fan site has been inundated with requests for this myth. So Tori gets Carrie's digits and heads out of range. But hold the phone, because Grant has some predictions. This is highly unlikely to work. The reason is that car remotes operate on three to 400 megahertz. This is well above the audible frequency range that when you're talking and when you hear things on your cell phone, that, that you use. Now, it's true that cell phones take that, those audible frequencies and encode them into radio frequencies, but those are on different frequencies than what the car remotes use. 8 to 900 megahertz, 1.8 to 1.9 gigahertz. That's a whole world of hertz, but what Grant is saying is that the phone and the key remote are on different wavelengths, but the team aren't deterred. The viewers asked for it, so they'll put it to the test. Okay, Tori's out of range now. Okay. Let's give him a call. It's Carrie. <laughs> see what she wants. Hello? <laughs> what, did I wake you? <laughs> okay, so are you ready? I need you to put the remote to the keys up to the phone and click it. Okay, right, here we go. Tori phones it in, but the car stays secure. It doesn't necessarily show more, right? It doesn't work. We have, we have many things that we can do with cell phones. I will show you here uh, pen tests. I will show you how to make a row BP. I will show you even keystrokes difference. I will show you a lot of things. But no, we can do kind of that stuff, you know? Uh, the most important here is that I don't want to change our pen test platform. We know that. The comfort in computer, it's on the level. So uh, we have a big screen, we have a keyboard, we have processing, we have memory. The thing, the thing here is we, have, we can add this tool to our collection, right? It's like, a, it's like some tool to some guy, you know? <laughs> you, have, you have this tool. Why don't, why don't you, why can't you use? You can use that. It's, it's everything pocket. It's in your pockets, right? Uh, besides that, in cell phones, we have things that were added to computer not too long time ago as Bluetooth, wireless connection, for sure, uh, microphones. 
I know, my laptop has it.